Hello everyone, welcome to La Tips. In our previous video, we looked at how to delete an item whenever we click on this delete button. And in today's video, we'll be looking at how to add filters over here. And before starting the video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. Now let's get started. Let me go here in our index view. I have here add new over here. I'll just add that filter above this add new. So I'll, let me just copy this thing and like this and here i'll write mb4 and if we look here inside the card we don't have header so let us add that so let me just format it first and it will be like this and we'll only show this header if we pass slot from here let's just say v dash if dollar slots dot header like this and here we'll say slot name header now let me just give some classes here and here will be px-6 it will be same as that of this and py will be very small let us keep it very small over here and let us also give font as bold like this now if i go here and let's say low rem only like this and if i just reload then we can see it here like this now if I just do here template and here title like this and here I'll say filters and I'll just come here and refresh the page. Okay, now let me go here. Sorry, it is this header. I wrote here title. Okay, so I'll just write here header and refresh the page. Then we can see that over here and also here I'll just say here BG dash gray 50 like this and Again, refresh the page then we can see here a little bit of gray over here in the title and this is the content let me just remove this content from here and here let me just give a form tag over here we don't need any accents over here and now i'll just copy things from here this create i'll copy this thing and i'll paste it over here and instead of breeze i'll not write breeze okay here and we don't need this input error also autofocus and required is also not required and we'll say filters.name we need to define this i'll define it a little bit later let me import this label and input so here i'll say here label and input later on we'll extract these into a separate component we'll do that in the next video this filters now let us define the filter related thing in one section so here i'll say const filters equals to ref name will be empty we have this filters dot name and here in the form let me just give some class grid grid calls let's say four and gap dash it like this let's say later on if we have any other things that we need to filter on then we'll have four input fields in one row now let me go back and refresh the page then we can see this over here like this and okay we have this filter already over here now whatever we type over here we want to filter these records by this so here so we'll just watch these filters okay watch and it will be filters there will be a method over here i think the watch is already imported yeah so where did it go here we'll watch filters and we need to import inertia as well i think we already imported that before yeah inertia over here so we'll just do here filters and we'll say here fetch items like this okay and now we'll create a separate method over here function fetch items like this 
and here we'll say inertia dot get and here we'll call route and here will be admin dot roles dot index it will just visit this route and the parameters will be let's say filters dot value whenever we pass an object over here it will pass this as a parameters now let's see what happens over here whenever we refresh the page it is just loaded and let me show you this network tab over here and let's say a b c like this nothing is happening because it is an object so we need to watch it deeply we also have a third parameter over here deep will be true so after this let me go here and again refresh the page and just call a b c b now you can see here we have this request that is going on but whenever i type a over here then this thing is gone and in the parameters also you can see here name equals to a this is changed to name equals to a okay so in order to fix this whenever we type let's say d so that the cursor will remain over here we have to just write here in the inertia dot get we have this third parameters over here and here we'll say preserve state equals to true and all these parameters are given over here if you just look here in the inertia js documentation then you will get all the things that we can pass now let me just refresh the page and if i just write a b c d e then it is remained over here but if i just scroll it a little bit over here and if i just type here f then you can see here it is taking me to the top of the page we don't want this kind of behavior over here whenever we type something over here we want this page to be remained over here for this we have another property called preserve school true now if i again go here and refresh the page to run a b c d e anything then it will not take me to this top of the page so that thing is also fixed but you can see here whenever i type this six letters it is sending six requests we don't want to send multiple requests we only want to send very few requests to the database whenever we are typing here in the client side and it is also called debounce so let us implement that now here let me just say here const fetch items handler equals to ref and i'll say here null like this and here i'll say here fetch items handler dot value equals to set timeout and here let's say 300 milliseconds and we'll add this thing inside this and just before assigning this we'll just say here clear timeout and we'll say fetch items handler dot value like this if we do it like this then if it hasn't passed 300 millisecond after we have typed then it will not call this and also if we are continuously typing then also it will not send any request after we leave the keyboard then it will send the request let me show you that let me format it add now let me refresh the page over here and now if i just type many things like this then it will not send any request but if i leave then it will send the request now if i just remove this and type let's say only new like this then it will only run one time as you can see here now let us implement this filter in the back end let me go to here in the roles controller and here let me just write here query like this so that everything will be in the next line like this and now here i'll say when request and i'll say here name because whenever we type this then we can see here name equals to new which means that we'll get here name in the request and we'll see here function and then here builder and here it will be illuminate database element builder builder like this and builder and here we'll get also the name whatever we pass here this will be available over here builder where name like and we can say here like this percent percent and dollar name like this now if i just come here and type here let's say new dash role like this then we can see this data and it is also updated over here and if i just delete it then also we see and if i just remove everything then we'll see all the thing and let me again type here new like this and if i refresh the page then we are only seeing new role which means that the filter is being applied but we are not seeing anything over here because you can see here name equals to new now in order to get that we have to pass it from here so here i'll just say here filters and here i'll say request all but let's say if there is nothing in the request then also it will be an empty array but we want empty object so we'll do it like this now let me go over here we have defined props over here let me just copy this thing and paste it over here and here will be filters and filters will be object 
and let me also do here like this props equals to define props and now here let me just go here and let's say on mounted like this we'll say here filters dot value will be props dot filters like this and now whenever i refresh this space it will get mounted and this code will run and props dot filters will be assigned to this filters dot value which is this and props dot filter is coming from here which is everything that is coming from this now if i just hit on refresh then we can see this new over here and if i go to the dashboard and again hit on back then also we'll see the same thing and the results will be same but if i again type something then we are not seeing that no results available text so let us fix that as well i'll go here in the table component and here let's say tr and we'll say here v dash if items dot data dot length is equal to zero then only we'll show here and let me also import td like this and let me use that td and here i'll say no data available and here will be poly span and poly span will be sorry about this so here it will be like this poly span will be we have headers over here headers dot length now if i come here and refresh the page then i'll see here no data available and if i just remove this then we'll see all the contents but now if i come here and hit back then also we are in the same page but we are seeing that different data over here like we have this new stf now if i again hit back then we don't have anything like this but let's say we are here in the dashboard and if i came here in the roles and if i just did some source and did like this and also new role like this now if i hit back then i want to go back to this dashboard so let us do that as well for that let me go here in the index and here we have to do it like this let me just show you over here we can just do here replace equals to true whenever we type something over here then this url will be replaced with the new one previously it would just write new url to the history stack but now it will replace the original one let me go here in the dashboard and again come back to the roles and let me search for new role and let me just remove this and also sort something random and now if i click on this back then it will take me to the dashboard so guys in today's video we made this filters and implemented it but if we look here in the code then it is looking very very dirty because everything is in the same component this index component we have delete logic as well here in the same component we have this filter component but in the next video we'll extract this into several composable javascript files so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye